Hey everyone, this is Mike Plavin. I am a Senior Technical Product Marketing Manager for ServiceNow, and I'm here to talk about what's new in the December 2021 store release for security operations. This store release is really focused on security incident response, and we've added and updated some really cool features. First of all, we've added major security incident management, which we'll talk about in just a moment. We've also updated our MITRE ATT&CK framework with some really cool enhancements, which we'll see in a moment. We've also added integration for MISP, which is a threat intelligence platform, as well as adding Microsoft SharePoint and Teams integrations. We've also updated our CrowdStrike, Tanium, and Splunk integrations. Let's first take a look at major security incident management. Now, this is a virtual war room, which allows the major incident managers or commanders to have a centralized dashboard, which allows them to collaborate with different groups across the environment when a major security incident arises. Now, that could be something like a ransomware attack or critical data loss or a new critical vulnerability that's been discovered, etc. They can use collaboration workflows with Microsoft Teams and manage evidence using Microsoft SharePoint. We've also updated MITRE ATT&CK with some really cool new enhancements, such as being able to map mitigation coverage to the heat map and navigator. You can also view threat actor mappings to the tactics, techniques, and procedures, as well as detection rules, how well your organization is at detecting tactics, techniques, and procedures across the different mappings. You can even see vulnerable items from ServiceNow vulnerability response in context to the tactics, techniques, and procedures in MITRE ATT&CK. We also added a new integration for MISP, Threat Intelligence Platform. This enables organizations to rapidly triage and investigate threats with citing search and observable enrichment. It has bi-directional communication, so not only can you pull information down from MISP, but you can also update MISP with your organization's data. We've also added integration for Microsoft Teams and SharePoint for major security incident management. Now, this is in addition to the existing Microsoft integrations for things like Azure Sentinel, Graph Security API, and Microsoft Exchange. And we've updated our integrations for CrowdStrike, Tanium, and Splunk. Now, let's take an in-depth look at major security incident management, starting with how to elevate a security incident to a major security incident. In the dropdown, we have a few options. We can propose a major security incident, meaning it will require approval in order to be elevated. We can also promote a major security incident, meaning it will automatically get added as a new MSI to the workspace. But in our demonstration, we're going to link this security incident to an existing major security incident. That way, we can see how we're able to manage the investigation, collaboration, and response across multiple security incidents from a single dashboard. We'll note that a tag has automatically been added to this security incident now that it's part of a major security incident, and it also lists a link to the MSI right here. Clicking on the link it takes us to the major security incident workspace where we're immediately presented with a, an array of useful information. To start, we see a timeline of events for this specific major security incident, which can be modified and added to as needed. For example, let's say we want to add an ad hoc event. We can do so by clicking new event right here. Next, we can see the overall impact that the incident has. In our demo environment, we can see that there are four assets, three users, and three locations affected by this MSI. And we can see the change in the past 24 hours. We also have information about how long the major security incident has been going on for and what the estimated resolution date is. Scrolling down, we can see information about the teams involved in the major security incident, as well as the different security incidents that are linked to this MSI. Next, we see details about the major security incident, including a space for the incident manager to enter their private work notes. Here, 
we see that the security incident that we were previously looking at was successfully linked as a child to this major security incident. ServiceNow Major Security Incident Management also includes integration with both file sharing and collaboration tools. Today, we support Microsoft SharePoint and Teams. In this demo, we can see that folders were automatically created when the MSI was first created. We can also see that log files have been successfully uploaded to SharePoint. And scrolling down, we can see the Teams conversation that took place between a few different individuals about uploading the log files. All of this data is captured in the major security incident, so the incident manager can monitor everything directly from a single dashboard. The is incident manager also has a centralized view of all of the tasks associated with the MSI and can even create and assign new ones. Furthermore, they're able to see the impact of the major security incident, including affected assets, locations, as well as affected users. We also collect all of the security incidents in one spot. Threat intelligence information is also presented in a consolidated view, both by indicators and by observables. All of this information gives the incident manager exactly what they need to monitor the progress of their major security incidents, provide updates to key stakeholders, and track the major incidents to resolution. If you'd like to learn more about anything that you saw here today, please visit us at www.servicenow.com. Thank you.